Black Friday. We are at the airport because my mother is about to go to Atlanta for the weekend. So we're dropping her off. Mom, if you don't get out this car, so I'll miss your flight. Yeah, let's get my sweater right in my Here. You're taking this right on the plane, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm about to go inside with her, Kendall, and I'm about to call her Mimi. Mason are in the car. About to help mom get her ticket and stuff like that. I wish I was flying somewhere. All right, we just gotta find American Airlines. Is it further up? We are so lost. American is ticket out E. We're, oh, there it goes back. Oh. You know, it's, it's always best to know how to read. <laughs> because Lord knows. Mm -mm. Peacocks. We're watching down the field. Yeah. This airport's kind of small. That's how it is in Orlando. You get on one side, you gotta go to the other. Their airport is huge. Don't be late to that airport for real, for real. Oh, RDU to Paris. I wonder how much that costs. You have my information to just print out my ticket. So we're about to print out our ticket. You're in seat 23F. First class. I'm about to say, there's no way that's first class in your seat or row 23. You have to ask them up there, but I'm pretty sure the first class is like within the first. Oh, you get free bags too, but you don't need that. When I'm getting there, first thing I don't give in to you. Why are you nervous? I don't want You don't like to fly? No. Oh. You know, I don't even. It doesn't bother me. It's. Oh. When I'm at free, I might be late, then I can really come. You're not gonna be late. Okay. And then think about it, it's not gonna happen, but if you were late, they'll probably give you a flight that'll go straight to Atlanta, and you'll have to go to DC. Yeah, what is this? I need to check on this one first class thing. Let's go in. Yeah, you gotta act, because there's no way 23. <laughs> That's an, unless this plane is just that big, yeah. you know. Oh my gosh, I did it again, so make that beat drop. All right, mom, this is where we depart. Adios, see. I will. See, what time do you come back on Monday? Oh, you don't even know. See you on Monday. Mm. Guys, we just find Kendall. Y'all know how it is at the airport, you cannot sit and wait for anybody so my man didn't pull it off on me just sitting here waiting luckily this airport isn't that big so it shouldn't take him that long to circle around and come back hey y'all so we just left Kendall's um aunt's house we had a good time just went to go see him a little bit Mason Sorry, Mason's just sitting in her car seat chilling. She's knocked out. Um, what was I about to say? So we're about to go to Victoria's Secret. I'm, I'm not sure if the tote's still there, but I really, really, really want that tote. And then I'm um, also head over to Target um, so I can get Mason a couple of things as well as to get some household items. And yeah. So we are at um, the mall. We came to the closest. Um, exit closest to Victoria's Secret because I'm literally just in here for Victoria's Secret. This mall, we haven't even made it all the way in the mall and I can tell it's like super packed. Y'all never heard of Cyber Monday? Like, I'm confused. Oh my gosh. Like, I, and to be honest with y'all, I've never been to the mall on Black Friday before. At least I don't think so. My mom didn't do the whole Black Friday thing and I don't blame her. Let me get in here. So we're in here, this line is super, super long and it didn't have any more totes. Uh, Someone's trying to be my walk. Drea would be leaving, okay? But I got a shirt and a 
sweatshirt. <laughs> so, um, I could get this free tote, y'all. The line wraps around. If by the time I get up here and this tote gone, oh, they gonna hear my wrath. I ain't fooling with y'all. So I got the tote, y'all. Y'all already know that's why I came up in here. So we're finally in Target, about to get a couple things so we can get home. Right, Mason? Look at her knocked out. Y'all, it's literally, don't ask me why I still have this on, but it's like 80 degrees outside. She had on her coat, I had it wrapped up in blankets and everything, and it's literally 80 degrees. My poor baby was dripping sweat. Jesus Christ. Somebody got tired of her stroller. She said, mommy, get me out of there. Daddy's down there. Sorry for the focus being off. Daddy's down there getting himself some tissue. And we out. Successful trip. Hey y'all, so we are back home. Mason is all clean up. Sorry if you see my belly. That's just life right now. She peed through her diaper. Like we, ch I checked her diaper before we left the mall. Or yeah, when we were leaving out of the mall um, parking lot, it was not completely dry, but it wasn't to the point where I needed to rush and change her diaper. By the time we got out of Target, we were not in there super duper long. I promise. Her diaper was so wet, so she's all cleaned up now. I just wanted to show y'all most of the stuff that we got. So we got some disposable spoons and forks. There's my tote down there. Got some rice cereal. Um, gonna wait for the doctor's permission, but I'm thinking Mason's probably gonna need it soon. But she goes to her doctor on Tuesday. Her wet clothes right there. I got a portable charger. We got paper towel, tissue, plastic plates. Um, as you can see over here, I have some extra Similac, but me like the dummy, I went and got the toddler version, so I need to take that back. Got her some little outfits, some Hershey's, and then um, got her some more bath time, bedtime Johnson & Johnson stuff. Um, it was $6.99 for a 28-ounce 20 um, bottle, which I think is a great price if you ask me. So if you buy three, you get, um, you get a $5 gift card. Excuse me. So basically, I spent $21 and got $5 back. Got her more Doc Brown bottles, and yeah. Just washed and sterilized Mason's bottles and then just pumped and I got, what is this, eight ounces. Two times four is eight. So I got eight ounces and I put in her dark brown bottle. So it feels good to get that many at once. So why does my face look greasy? So let me tell y'all what happened that just made me kind of get mad. And if you follow me on Snapchat, you already know what, I was talk what I'm talking about. So our fridge has been acting up for God knows how long. We call them, they come and do mediocre fixes. <laughs> so they come in and do mediocre things to it to claim that it's fixed, but it's not fixed. And by the time we got back today from um, being out, I got some water from in our water filter and it was lukewarm like it just came from the sink and I'm thinking oh, okay Kendall probably just filled this up so I didn't say anything so I went in the fridge to grab some food the food itself was still cold but the fridge was hot so I'm like oh no so I told Kendall to call them we call these people at four o'clock and they literally fussed with us for the longest, but they didn't send somebody here until I think he got here at 7 because he just left not too long ago. Y'all, I have, first of all, I had just pumped um, 8 ounces of breast milk for Mason, had her bottle set up, and then I have several ounces in the freezer with my storage. And I'm telling them, y'all need to come on because, you know, but besides my food going bad, y'all can't replace breast milk. I'm sorry, baby. I am sorry. Here's your passy. You can't replace breast milk, and that will literally hurt me. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, luckily, the maintenance guy had to come here. I don't know where he was coming from, but had to come here, switch out the fridge that's on the first floor, and bring it up here. But, y'all, that just that irritated me so much. Apparently, Mason's irritated too. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. So, okay. I feel like there's just so much that I want to say to y'all. First of all, it's a great morning because I'm alive. Hip, hip, hooray. Um, I have five bottles in the fridge, one waiting out for Mason to drink whenever she's ready. Um, did one storage bag, which means I'll probably be able to do another one today. Um, 
so it's definitely a good milk morning for me it's always great to be ahead several bottles because even if you know mason gets down to her third bottle i'll still have three more to go so you know it's always best like that what else was i about to say um about to drink my mother's milk tea just yeah anyways another thing because this is a long clip here okay i just want to address this just in case this person's watching or whatever the case may be if you don't follow me on snapchat make sure that you follow me on snapchat because sometimes like i said i'm not always recording or whatever the case may be especially like on the weekends where you don't see a vlog on saturday sometimes so if you're curious to what we're doing you know come through follow me on snapchat so for those of you that don't follow me on snapchat y'all know yesterday we went to the mall to purchase that tote i was adamant about that i needed it when we got to the counter we had a nice cashier or what i thought was nice and that's a nice cashier i don't know if she's watching or not i don't know if she's a subscriber i'm assuming that she is but i'm gonna get to that point she was just like, oh, can I see your baby? So Mason was kind of like maneuvered weird in her stroller or her stroller was sitting weird where the girl couldn't see her, see her over the counter. So I maneuvered her to a way that she could see her. And she said, oh, she's so cute. And I'm like, thank you. First of all, I just, it, it just, it's annoying sometimes when, you, when you're at a store, you, you just, you know, not that I don't want you to see my baby or anything. I just want you to swipe really fast, or not swipe. I want you to get my total so I can swipe <laughs> instead of keeping small conversation. But whatever. I figure that's, that's what you do when you have a kid. So, anyway, she, and then she proceeded to ask if that was me and Kendall's baby. I laughed it off, you know, haha, <laughs> you know. And here we go with another light skin comment. And we were like, yeah, ha, ha, you know, just hurry up so I can swipe. So, um, and then she was just like, it, I kid you not, she was just like, why is she so light-skinned? So, I'm not going to lie, while I was in the store, I kind of laughed it off. And it didn't click to me right then and there. But as time went on and I got annoyed yesterday with the whole fridge thing, I thought about it. First of all. It'd be okay. It wouldn't have been okay, but it would have been okay if she was the first person that had ever said it or the 10th person. This is crazy how many people are so concerned about Mason's skin color. Y'all have no idea. And the crazy thing about it, let me tell you the craziest part about it. It's all black people. It's all black people that are asking why my child's light skin. First of all, do y'all not know about jeans? Like, that's the crazy part about it. Second of all, do y'all not know black people can be different colors? Like, I didn't know we were supposed to be one skin tone. Like, it's so crazy to me. And it just, it also got me heated as I thought about it. Why are you so upset? The way she said, why is she so light skin? Like, you know, it, it was wrong. But anyway, the purpose that I'm bringing this up is because as I put that on Snapchat and vented to y'all, and let me make this clear. I am the type of person that if I say anything to this camera, to my Snapchat camera, to to Billy Bob, the only person, literally the only people that I expect to tell things to and it not go past them is my child, my family, like my close, close family, like my mom, my grandma, you know, my cousins, my husband, and the Lord. So if I put it out there, I, I don't care. That means that i don't care you know what i'm saying that means it's free reign for y'all to come at me or he to come at me or whatever so i just want to make that clear so i got a snap last night and the girl was just, and the girl was like i work at victoria's secret i am the i am the cashier that helped you laughing face she put like three laughing face she said i'm weak now i'm not sure if she said that like oh you talking about me i see it i'm weak or is she saying it like Haha, i'm really the one that said it i'm not gonna lie i called it the b word i was mad i'm mad because like i said this is this is like the 80th person that didn't ask me about my daughter's skin color like it's ridiculous and here's my other thing and i'm not talking my subscribers per se because y'all y'all have seen me well, y'all didn't, but you did kind of see me give birth to Mason. Here's my thing. I would never 
see somebody on the street and say what that girl said just think about people that are that adopt their children just keep that in mind before you open your mouth and say some things you need to think because suppose you know like when she said is that your child if if mason was adopted clearly the answer to that would have been yes and then you said, why is she so light-skinned? I could have went off on her if my child was like, um, if she was like, if she was adopted. You get what I'm saying? You need to think before you speak. But anyways, I just wanted to address that. Let me put this away because this clip is already eight minutes long. Hey, y'all. So I know it's, well, you don't know it, but it's like almost 11 o'clock. And I picked up the camera earlier today, about 12 hours ago, when I first told y'all that I was going to, um record but i ended up not recording i had cramps in the beginning of the morning and then mason woke up and kendall was still napping so you know that wasn't going to play out too well and then we just had a, a great family day believe it or not we had it hasn't been me kendall and mason since we left the hospital and i barely count the hospital as that because there were nurses coming in and out and guests coming in and out those two days but it was nice just being us to you know chilling we literally watched football all day we watched the ohio state game and michigan game that was really really good and several other games but that was just the best one um mason woke up today probably around like one o'clock and stayed up for majority of the day which i'm very very proud of her we just gave her a bath about um an hour and a half ago and right now she's laying in her dad's arms sleep so She's, I'm pretty sure, I don't care what <laughs> happens today, I'm pretty sure she's going to sleep for throughout the, or throughout the night. So, sorry if this vlog was boring, but y'all, it be like that, okay? So, tomorrow's church will be, will be all ready to go. After church, we're probably going to get lunch, but y'all see that. But anyways, have a blessed night. I hope your weekend was blessed, and I will see y'all, guess what day? tomorrow. <laughs> Bye y'all.